What's up guys, I device Hope here. Today in this video I'm going to be talking about a topic that I'm sure you guys have watched tons of videos about by now. It's the iPhone 6 Plus bendable. Now you guys are looking to buy an iPhone 6 Plus and were asking me tons of questions over on Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus. And asking me, is it the right choice to purchase an iPhone 6 Plus now that this bending issue has become apparent? Now, I've been using my iPhone 6 Plus here for about a week now. And as you can see, it is straight. This device is very straight. Nothing is, hasn't bent at all. Uh, a lot of people tend to think that the iPhone 6 Plus is just aluminum. And the reality of this is the iPhone 6 Plus is in a unibody aluminum body. And then inside the actual structure, there's stainless steel to reinforce the entire aluminum body. And that makes the iPhone a bit stronger. Now, as you've seen from other videos on YouTube, people have put pressure here on the weak spots, if you if you can call it, and press on it and bend it. Now, a lot of people are claiming that by putting them in their pockets, they bend in that certain section. It could be possible that there are some weak spots between this section here where the iPhone can bend. Apple is looking into the situation, but in my particular situation, I don't wear super tight jeans or anything like that. So a normal loose pants in my, in my situation, uh, I haven't bent mine and it, it doesn't feel awkward in my pocket at all because again my pants are not that super tight but if you wear tight pants uh for example uh women it might be hard to have one of these in your pocket and not damage it i, I could see that uh having some type of effect on the device and, and again that runs through all smartphones if they're big enough and you're trying to fit them in a tight pocket or tight jeans and, and small pockets uh, that could be an issue with any smartphone in general now the 6 plus is a 5.5 inch screen it's a huge device uh, usually girls carry it around in their purses and things like that and another thing not that you have to but every time I get a new iPhone I normally buy a case for it uh, not that you have to buy a case that's no excuse for this bending uh, issue that is occurring uh, but I buy this simple plastic shell case to protect the back of my iPhone 6 Plus and this gives it an extra strength. These are probably like 5 bucks at the most and, and they protect your phone from scratches and also reinforces if you have it in your pocket and you're afraid to bend it. Now another thing that I wanted to point out, uh, every time I put my phone in my pocket, either it's the iPhone 5S, 6 or 6 Plus, I usually put the screen towards my skin. So I put it in my pocket facing me. So that way the screen doesn't get hurt if I bump into anything because that is a possibility as well. And therefore also giving it more strength if you crouch down and you think you're going to bend it or, or something like that. Not that this will keep you from buying an iPhone 6 Plus. I really don't think it's that big of a deal. I really do think it's being exaggerated a little bit. I mean, I, I'm not saying it can't happen, but I don't see this being a major issue. It's just one of those things that... uh. Every time Apple put out a new product, something has to happen, and this is the, the case now. Now, I'm pretty sure if Apple recognizes this issue, they will be issuing a fix. I'm pretty sure that Apple always tries to keep their customers satisfied. So if this becomes an apparent issue to Apple, I'm pretty sure they'll fix it somehow. They'll find a way. So don't be afraid to buy your iPhone 6 Plus if you were thinking about it. I know you guys were asking me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus, and even here on YouTube. So there you guys have it. That is my opinion. As you can see, mine is straight, straight, straight. Nothing has happened to it. And I'm going to continue using it because I love this device. And don't be afraid to buy it. So if you guys found this video helpful, please thumbs up. I really do appreciate it when you thumbs up my videos. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus. All the links will be down below. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.